everyone, I'm the Tax Pro, and today I am going to talk to you about recording expenses within zero. So an expense is going to be where you are paying the actual bill or the expense at the same time as which it's occurred. Um, so this isn't going to be where we enter a bill that we haven't paid yet. This video is specifically for recording an expense where we have you know, maybe gone to um, Target and purchase office supplies or something along those lines. So this right here is the dashboard at zero. Um, there's a couple of different ways that we can navigate here. One of which is we can go directly into the account where we have spent the money. Um, so here we can click on this account. We can go to manage account and then you'll see right here we have underneath the new option, we have spend money, receive money, and transfer. So we're gonna spend money here. We are going to um, enter right here, the vendor where we spent the money. So you'll see here, Target is not in here yet. So we need to hit new contact. We're gonna have the date where we spent the money. And then we can choose a, to enter a reference number or not. So if we are, for example, paying via a check, we would go ahead and enter the check number here. We're not doing that. We're obviously going to Target and probably swiping a debit card, right? Um, so right here, we need to tell Zero what we're purchasing. And there's a couple of different options here. So an item would tie directly to an inventory item. We don't have inventory items in zero, so I'm going to leave that blank. We can put a description here, but we're not required to. Um, so this is optional. We then have the quantity and the unit price. Right here is the account. So this account is going to tie directly to an account on the chart of accounts. So if I'm here and I'm purchasing office supplies, I'm gonna go ahead and put office expenses here in the account. And then I can put quantity one and the unit price is gonna be my receipt price. So if I spent you know, $86.56 on this office supplies, I'm going to put the unit price, it's going to have the total amount right here, okay? So then I'm going to click save, or I can click save and add another if I am going to be adding another expense. Um, down here, we have buttons to add a new line, and we also have buttons to assign the expense to a customer or a project. So if I were to go get um, like supplies for a specific job, I could go ahead and assign expenses to a customer or a project here. So I'm going to click save. Now when this occurs, you're going to notice that it is going to end up in the account transaction area of this checking account. And then you're going to see that it says that it is on reconciled. So ways to get this to show as reconciled are to match it in the bank feed or to go ahead and come in here and mark as reconciled. Um, so this right here, it says, it is recommended that you only mark as reconciled in cases where the original bank transaction data cannot be imported from the bank. So this is a manual way to reconcile this. Um, zero, the way that the reconciliation feature operates is that it compares to the data that has been either directly pulled from the bank because you have bank feeds set up or that you have imported because you've imported a statement from the bank. Um, if you were gonna go in and manually reconcile things, this is how you would mark it as reconciled. I am gonna leave this because in all reality, you should be reconciling um, about monthly um, to your actual bank statements. So whenever that bank issues a statement, which should be monthly, you would then go in and reconcile transactions. Um, the other way that we can navigate is to click the plus button and then click spend money. When you do this, it's going to ask you first to select the bank account where you made the payment. So bank accounts and credit cards will show up here and then you can go in and you can fill this out. 
Now, we have um, this option to be sent, spent as a direct payment, a prepayment, or an overpayment. When you are going in and you are like going to Target or something along those lines, you wanna make sure it's the direct payment. Okay, so that is how you enter an expense um, when you are incurring the actual um, cost and paying it at the same time, like when you go to a store and you purchase office supplies like with a debit card or something. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.